Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And today I'm looking to answer a question that seems to be popular with the upcoming uh, availability of Vega from AMD. And for a long time people with AMD graphics cards have been uh, looking for something to power uh, a gaming rig that could uh, play 4K and 1440p and still benefit from FreeSync. Also, individuals who are looking to buy a graphics card today but aren't wanting to pay the outrageous prices uh, for the uh, AMD products like the 580 and the 480 uh, due to mining. Uh, you know, do you have to sacrifice buttery smooth gameplay? And invest in a G-Sync setup if you're using an NVIDIA card or can you get away with buying a lower priced but quality 1440p or 4k FreeSync monitor and still getting that buttery smooth gameplay on a budget and keep the option open should you want to buy an AMD graphics card down the line so a quick little story uh, about my personal situation about a year ago I built myself a computer and I bought an RX 480 4GB MSI Gaming X video card uh, and I bought kind of a cheapo non-gaming 60Hz 1080p monitor thinking you know what it's good enough it's good enough so with time and with uh, purchases of games like The Witcher 3 Doom etc I started thinking I put this great system together why am I limiting my resolution to 1080p 60 Hertz and um, I decided to get myself a new monitor uh, and what I ended up finding was a great deal on an Asus MG 279Q which is a FreeSync panel uh, from Asus featuring a 27 inch IPS panel and 144 hertz refresh rate and a free sync with a range of uh, I believe 45 to 90 uh, frames per second out of the box uh, it is overclockable that's a separate uh, video but you can go anywhere from roughly 88 I believe to 144 if you want you have to unlock that feature using some software um, but anyway I digress. Uh, what I ended up doing is buying the monitor for a great price and once I got the monitor and I started playing 1440p with my RX 480 I quickly you know discovered that my frames weren't necessarily where I wanted them. So then I started noticing the price increase with the mining craze and I started to think well, it might be a good time to sell my 480. Um, it was only the 4 gigabyte model, so I knew I'd have to upgrade that anyway. Uh, so I got a really good price on my 480, sold it, and I ran off my integrated graphics for a while uh, with my i7 6700K. Uh, and I thought I'd be fine till Vega launched. Vega got delayed, then Vega got delayed again, and I, I got the itch and I decided to start looking at what Team Green had to offer thinking you know what I'll get it I'll see how it works if it doesn't work or it's not smooth I can always buy Vega when Vega comes out and sell the 1080 so next thing you know I find uh, GTX 1080 at an unbeatable price on NCIX's outlet site on eBay and I bought the 1080. It's uh, actually this card here. Now, I don't know why that's showing up upside down on my screen, but it's the uh, Asus GTX 1080 Strix, um, which is a great card. I love it. So I got the card, popped it in, not knowing what to expect. Next thing you know, I fire up a couple games, 1440p, ultra settings, 
buttery smooth. Okay, so I'm like, well, well, what's going on? I don't have FreeSync. How come it's so smooth? So I started looking into it, and a lot of people were asking the question: Can you get smooth gameplay? Do you need this? I'll wait for Vega. I I got a FreeSync panel, etc. Well, everything I throw at it is smooth. So I made this video to show you guys that smooth gameplay is attainable with an NVIDIA card and a free, free sync panel. So I'm going to let you guys have a look at some captured video of uh, Tomb Raider, Doom, The Witcher 3, Shadows of Mordor, and Metro 2033. Uh, the upgraded or updated version, the redo or redux, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, just have a look at it, see what you think, and um, at the end of the gameplay footage, I'll come back, give you guys a brief summary of my opinion. And I look forward to hearing any comments you guys have in the comments section below. And if you really like this video, feel free to give me a like. And if you really like my channel and the content, please consider subscribing. That would help me out a lot. Also, in the description below, you'll find a full description of my current computer and links to Amazon should you want to buy any of those components. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back in a few minutes uh, to give you a summary. Thank you.
that uh, footage of me playing uh, those games. Just a little bit of uh, background. Tomb Raider was running at 1080p, just so I get some higher frames uh, per second there for you guys uh, to see, you know, the high and low, see if there's any kind of stuttering or screen issues with the, the high variance. Everything else, though, was 1440p run at ultra, or as high as I could go with uh, the settings. Um, with the exception of some anti-aliasing, maybe not being 100% maxed out, hair works not being on everything. But basically everything's ultra. Um, and as you can see, no issues. So, you know, I said it before and I'll say it again. I think uh, it's not impossible to expect smooth, very uh, affordable gaming on a PC without relying on G-Sync and even uh, without FreeSync. So something to consider if you guys are in the market for a monitor or a graphics card and you already have a FreeSync panel, uh, you don't need FreeSync or G-Sync to have smooth gameplay. And if you really, 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 really want some comfort, there's something called uh, FastSync which is available with NVIDIA cards. It's not like uh, V-Sync in that there's no, uh, there's no input lag. So you can still benefit from some form of uh, assistance with your gameplay without needing uh, to pay $300 more for it for a G-Sync panel. Anyway, those are my two cents. Uh, if you want more footage like this, something similar, uh, Joker Productions did a video not too long ago comparing uh, GTX 10... 60 I believe and an RX 570 or 470 anyway uh, something in that class of uh, video card and he was surprised by the results just like I think some of you might be so I'll put a link to his video in the description below and again if you like my my video give me a like and if you like my content uh, consider subscribing Alright guys, hope you like this one. We'll see you next time. Have a good day.